back if she needed A dose of rain fall in the evening The waves crash down and we feel them Say here's to the nights we still Hi, my name is Tadia Franco. I'm with Austin Underground, and I'm here with Quinn92. Mm -hmm. It's good to be here. How are you? <laughs> so, I, one, I love your music, and Thank it's you. amazing. Straight Jacket is awesome. <laughs> um, but can I ask you a question? What uh, does the 92 stand for? So, it's just, well, XCII is the Roman numeral for 92, which is the year I was born. So, okay. it's just, yeah. I was thinking it was, and you went to Michigan State, right? Mm -hmm. What was your major there? Advertising. Yeah, so something totally different than what I'm doing now. I like, to, I like to think I apply the advertising degree to stuff we're doing now, which is like marketing ideas, but generally it's, it's nothing to do with my career now, so it's funny how that turned out. Yeah, definitely. I can see how that would be helpful. Um, so what made you kind of make, like, make the decision just to like, you were DJing in high school or no, playing like, sets? Yeah, playing sets in high school. Is it easy if I just like hold the mic? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, we were always pursuing music on the side and like going to school. Um, that was the priority and, and music was sort of like the hobby that turned into the job. It wasn't a full-time thing at all and it wasn't something I was like seriously, per I was p pursuing it but in the back of my mind I wasn't really sure it was going to work out and then I, I saw a fan base grow more and more and more as I, you know, got older and, and by the time my senior year it was ending I was thinking this could really be a real thing and just went for it and yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can enjoy your music. Right, exactly. <laughs> So, also, do you, with Straight Jacket, so I was watching the video, and it's very artistic, mm -hmm. I feel. Um, are you the director for that as well? I, I, I didn't, like, I had the idea, my manager and I, and we came up with this idea on uh, my team at the record label, and we, we thought it was, like, a really cool kind of, like, perspective video. So, I, I like to think I was, like, behind the idea, but directing it, we actually had, like, a director come on set and, you know, shoot the whole thing. But as far as the idea goes, it was, it was you know, all ours, like, or, like, internally so it's cool like I, I thought it was really like a interesting look at the song and like a spin on the lyrics and hopefully people were into it so yeah. yeah your music is really deep and it tells a really like complex story and a lot of your songs and like where do you get the inspiration or inspiration <laughs> I kind of it's interesting because everybody asks me that a lot and I just think that like I like tapping into other people's like emotions and brain sort of and just putting myself in their shoes and like speaking on topics that other people go through and they might not necessarily be things that I've experienced but I like to like channel like my inner like kind of emotions as far as like what do other people go through and how can I relate to them and so I think it's really important as a musician is like even though you haven't maybe experienced certain things like you can still find ways to connect with a fan base that has and and you know speaking to them directly so it's kind of like the basis of our of our music so yeah. No, it, it, I was just listening to so many songs and they have such a story and I absolutely loved it and it was like writing, it was like reading but listening and yeah. your voice is amazing. Thank you so much. Good. <laughs> and you're from Detroit mm -hmm. and then you went, to, you went to Michigan, so what made you choose Michigan? Uh, Michigan State. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, I, I went to Western Michigan my freshman year and I transferred to Michigan State. I've always been like a Michigan State fan and um, just decided that was like where I always wanted to go. And my, I have a twin brother actually who went there and so he, he was really like urging me to transfer and I was just, you know, studied up and <laughs> made the move my sophomore year. So I'm really happy I did because I met a ton of friends and, you know, I, I actually think that's where my music really just like was, was like birthed kind of in terms of like networking and like word of mouth and spreading around the campus. So it helped out tremendously. So does your twin brother like help you out? Is he a singer yeah, artist? No, he's like it's so funny. We're like totally polar opposites. Like not musical whatsoever. He's very like analytical thinking and super smart, and we're totally totally separate people. But he's he's a huge supporter of the music and like one of my like biggest fans. So it's great to have like hit the family support. You know. Oh yeah, family support is awesome and yeah. everything. Yeah. That's so awesome that you have a twin. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure everyone is probably. What's like funny? What's funny? His his handle on on Facebook is Twin ninety two, so it's like a play off of my name, and he gets a kick out of it. So yeah. That's awesome. I would like my sister to be my twin, but she does not. She's like, no twin, no nothing. And we're a year apart. So. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> yeah, and um, so you're playing tonight, and then you're heading right back on tour. Um. Yeah. So we, I have a nice little three day break here, which is going to be good just to kind of like decompress and get get back on track and then um the 21st which i believe is tuesday i think we're in new york so which starts like the second leg of the tour and that's all east coast cities so really excited yeah it was it was a great time being on the west coast and now we're kind of migrating to the other side of the country and yeah. really excited so yeah do you have any new music coming out soon I do. 
Yeah, I have a, uh, a new single coming out next uh, a week from tomorrow, and it's gonna be performed tonight. So I'm really excited, and we've we've been playing it these past few shows, and everybody's like really into it. So definitely look out for that. And then there's an album coming right before the fall. So a lot a lot of new stuff on the way. Oh, definitely. I know everyone was definitely gonna be on the lookout, yeah. and I'm excited. Thank you so much. Austin, are you gonna head back to Austin sometime again to visit definitely, us? Definitely, definitely. I was here last uh, last fall with this producer Griffin, like producer DJ. It was really cool. We played we played right around the corner actually. Um, but I, I love Texas. We always come here, and, and and I feel like every big city in Texas has really like gravitated towards the music and like has shown nothing but like support. Um, so definitely gonna come back here for the fall for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for interviewing with us today, and we're so excited to have you. Thank and you so much. Excited for your music, and can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Join us on Austin Underground. Also, uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube, and definitely follow Quinn on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.